Kaiser Redux. Yes, we're back. I'm back. Kaiser Redux. I know I love this mod. I played so much I must love it. Right? That, that's how that works, right? But here's the thing. I realized, well, and there's a re main reason I'm not the greatest number one Hoi4 YouTuber of all time. No, it's not because I'm bad at the game. I'm a god tier at the game. You guys all know that. But it's because I'm not playing enough France. <laughs> that's why. I mean, like, one of my first videos was France and Hoi4. Don't watch it. It's bad. Please don't watch it. But not this France. This France. Yes, of course. I just got to do it. I got to play Napoleon France. And well, because I personally think Napoleon France would be like a great challenge for me. I mean, think about it. I got to prove that I am the greatest number one Hoi4 YouTuber of all time. Turn that back down. Of all time, and there's nothing better to do than, uh, win against coalition, against coalition, against coalition, against coalition, as Napoleon. Look at that focus tree. They used iGlare.png for this one. I have that. I use it for my thumbnail. And so, yes, if you're wondering, it is, uh, fully upgraded to no step back. Actually, not fully, I believe, but, uh, I'm pretty sure they said that it's in a playable state. Um, they haven't, like, fully upgraded everything to take. Uh, advantage of all, but you know what? It's good enough for me. We got I get to see Felipe Vitain and then full 4k 8k detail ah, My favorite military dictator. Let's just say our starting position uh, is one of two things one in low development and two well uh, low international recognition and also uh, the kind of do exist at, in Africa so probably gonna get uprisings any second probably imagine but well that's where the challenge is and you know I'm awesome at this game I got a full 13 divisions Woo! Ha! there he is Louis Bonaparte Louis Bonaparte he basically he says hey I'll come back just to repeal the law and it's like well it'd be a threat against your democratic rule yeah apparently uh Dane didn't really <laughs> I didn't really have another option oh, oh no okay you know it, it, yeah. yeah I'm just gonna stop talking about those two events Oh, I can, I can help out against Afghanistan. Well, oh, we always know it's a wonderful idea to invade Afghanistan, and oh, I'm not doing much, so. All right, Patain, we're going on an adventure, and that involves Cabal. Ha ha, here we go, and uh, yada 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 yada. Napoleon, and he's gone from Field Marshal to, I mean, General to Field Marshal. Uh, we'll keep you as a General for now. <laughs> You're still kind of garbage, so we'll just keep you in here. We'll you get you some experience in Afghanistan. Uh, all the best generals come out of Afghanistan, trust me. And, well, things are certainly going very quickly. Uh, the bonus parts, uh, and, well, I'm sure it'll pop up in just a second, sooner or later. And there we go. Now known as Napoleon the Six. We got a new flag, and he got a spiffy new outfit, a spiffy new hat, and, uh... Well, now it looks like we can begin the... F yeah, everything else got cut. And, well, everything... Huh, music, too. Sweet. But now we got this whole new focus tree to go down and lots of powerful buffs. How are good of you are of a general? No, you're you're still quite bad. Yeah. Crimea. <coughs> Russia joke, Russia joke, Russia joke. Oh, it's not, it's not really that much of a joke anymore, is it? Ah, looks like... Looks like I gotta go in and protect the Russian minority, guys. Come on. Huh. What kind of event is this? So you're, you're concerned about the size, so you're gonna steal Rasputin's. <sighs> I've seen Rasputin's, it's, it's quite large. I can understand it. <laughs> but I feel like the propaganda unit of Napoleon's army is going a little too far with it. <laughs> Don't worry everyone, it's a success, and wow, 33 centimeters, that's, that's crazy. I'm telling you, it must be hereditary, because I can tell you, he's definitely packing a punch. I mean, look at that nose. You gotta have a big one. Look at that encirclement. That can't be good. Socialist America, don't make me laugh. You can't say crap now. I'm doing a quality. I mean, I'm doing this before South Africa. I'm doing this before the United States. I'm just saying. It's looking pretty good for Napoleon's little empire right here. He just made his first encirclement. Congratulations. How are you as a general, too? That's pretty good considering, like, literally six months ago you were 111. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, Napoleon. Uh, sorry about that, guys. That was, uh, my bad. Sorry about the political instability. <laughs> Oops. Uh, okay, I'll be nice here. I want my empire to at least live so we'll have some free elections. It's not gonna be completely free. 
Just a little constitutional monarchy, you know how it is. I mean, who would go against that lovely jawline? I'm just saying. <laughs> Let's do a funny moment and have the radicals, the social liberal radicals, take control. Bada bing, bada boom. Well, there we are. Socially liberal. What more could you want? Come on. I mean, it's like the perfect blend of a government. Awesome. E e yo, Liberia. Wha what? Guys, I, it wasn't that hard. I, Afghanistan isn't that hard to win, guys. Come on. You've got to do encirclements. Someone should have told the U.S. generals what go pro gamer encirclement movements are. I know. Should have seen the Hoi4 subreddit before they did any real war planning. I I'm sorry, I, I'm not losing against the Liberians, I, I swear, I just don't have any units there, I, I'm so I'm sorry. Ha <laughs> ha ha you what? How do you like being creamed on now, Liberia? Yeah, yeah, that's what I like to call a Reddit moment. And, well, you just got destroyed. Those seven factories are gonna be all mine. Don't worry, we're soon gonna take Fishtown. Napoleon VI has announced that the cowardly Liberian nation can no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of the French military. <laughs> Yo, let's go. A great threat to world peace is down and out, and now only one man with a fancy hat can rule them all. What, did, did the AI just like destroy all their industry? All right, well, last time went here, it didn't go too well, but uh, I'm sure that the second time's a charm, right? It's always a charm. At least it was positive. Oh, hey, look. Looks like we're all doing a little bit of funness here, and how nice you're going after. You're going after the syndicalist and the racist. Two people I hate the most. That was a joke. That was a joke, I promise. Actually, no, it wasn't a joke about the race. You know what? Scratch that. Going to Egypt. Let's just focus on that. Uh oh. Well, that's a bit overpowered, but very much thank you. And, well, their units kind of uh, suck. So, Alexandria it is. And hopefully they declare war on the Ottomans or something. That'd be funny, right? Who said that, the, you know. Africa couldn't be fun. I mean, at least we're in the plains here. I mean, it's gonna get into a desert hellscape up here, but it's not that bad. Well, actually, it's kind of pretty bad. I hate fighting in Africa. Please, let's just oh, let's go. Let's go to Europe rather quickly, guys. Come on. Wonderful. We got all sorts of tidbits about how everyone is so happy that you know we're killing Egyptians. Ah, I'm happy too. I got the railroad. And speaking of railroads, call us the Czechoslovak Legion because we're protecting the railroad. Well, that was like cutting into a baguette. A very sharp knife. Okay, I've cut into a baguette. It's not, it's not, I mean, it's like it's raw. It's not hard. I, I, I'm strong enough to cut in baguette. Never mind. Ugh, wonderful. <laughs> At least I got like 200 1890s artillery pieces out of that. And well, we got that canal and I guess the only reasonable explanation of, or only reasonable place to go now is probably Turkey. I can beat up Turkey, right? Yeah, no. Said no one ever. They said Egypt could never be humbled. Well, of course that was pretty easy. I know they fear us, but hey, I got the can I got. Oh, I don't even have the canal. I got Cairo and Alexandria, so I I can't complain. And at least we have a decent number of factories. So at least we're bringing glory and fate. And I'm, I'm good. All right, we just made the best tank of this side of the Nile. Well, actually, I doubt the Ottomans really have any tanks. Okay, they have a few tanks, but well, don't worry, the wonderful French colonial industry will <laughs> surely outproduce them in our tanks. Yeah! Okay, good for you, Argentina, but well, you see, we got a full 15 units, so I don't know, it's pretty... Oh. <sighs> okay, I, I feel like that's different. I feel like that's better. 86 days? Oh, that ain't bad. And, uh, certainly good. At least we got a few on this side of the I'm just saying, Napoleon's a pretty good general, I, I gotta admit. <gasps> Nuclear bombs, what a preposterous thought. You know, it's uh, kind of funny that literally we have authoritarian Democrat, authoritarian Democrat, authoritarian Democrat, authoritarian Democrat. We have like four different <laughs> people vying for the authoritarian Democrat spot. At least they decided to switch it up a little bit with the syndicalist. That would, that would make, make two cents, would it? Authoritarian Democrat syndicalist, but uh, gotta love America, it's like... It's like they're all just the same ideology, but we're under different names. No, I'm kidding. So, uh, yeah, I'm at war with the Ottomans, but, uh, surely, surely this little Nile state won't join. Surely. Thank you for the 50-year-old rifles. <laughs> I, I, I kind of actually do need them. I reassure you, this was 100% intentional. You know why? 
Well, that's because, well, we're sending guys across the, uh, across the Sahara there, and they're gonna go in right here, and they're gonna cut even more of them off, and, well, that'll be literally the entire Ottoman army, and another thing is that, well, they joined. I, I can happily take it and not go to war with literally every single major power. Oh, no. Rommel. You couldn't handle Goring, could ya? <laughs> he wants his revenge, goddamn. Yeah, the Turkish don't really need those tanks, do we? Yeah, I mean, if there if there are even any tanks left, it's like probably a couple. Long story short, they're all mine, and uh, let's just say we have also a bit of expansion opportunities, if possible, to the south here now. <laughs> Sucks to be Germany. Well, uh, again, free for the taking, and, uh, <laughs> well, I, I hate Germans, so, you know, liberal monarchists, like, that's so awful, and, all right, finally, the, uh, Ottoman force that was just running down the Sahara until I could catch them has been taken care of, so, now we finally had our forces over here, and happily, with strangely no resistance, seized the Sinai Peninsula and Jerusalem. Ah, I always knew Jerusalem should be French. Eh, that solves everything. Uh, you're a little early to be in the Middle East, if I'm being honest there, Ahmed. Oh, oh god, they they made Detroit worse. It's, it's Canadian. I've never seen this before, and, and Kaiser Redux is... Is Huey Long gonna win? This, uh, this siege of Constantinople is quite different from that I remember. It didn't include militia... militia units, uh, that's for sure. Wee wee wee! Now Constantinople, the city of the world's desire, is now French. In other words, it's now desired by no one. Surely another major war will not start up because of the Auschwitz ultimatum. Oh, I spoke too soon. R Russian socialists back for more. T Tukhachevsky. Oh, it's the epic boss battle. Tukhachevsky versus Savinkov. Hey, what are you doing in Siberia, Tukhachevsky? Oh, finally. I don't know why the Ottomans only had 6,000 guns, but uh, I'll happily take all of it. Oh, without Britain, Canadian, Canada's help. Kind of, they kind of are dying to socialists right now. So uh, might as well start my chance to go to war with more socialists, aka France. All right, quick saves coming to uh, take over Persia. Uh, now we're demanding the Mediterranean islands, and finally we'll retake continental Europe. I'll wait for them to grind down their gears a little bit, and then I'll plan my attack. Where it's currently stuck in. Asia, I gotta, get, I gotta get them back to Africa for the naval invasion. I love the the grabbing hand PNG they use. Okay, just out of curiosity, how much manpower? Why, thank you, India. That's is now is all my foreign garrisons clear. Now I can ah, there we go. Now I can actually do stuff. Oh, thank God, thank you, India. Huh, you know, I really like this Charles de Gaulle guy. He came up with Thunder de Grille, which is uh, it's called lightning warfare and using tanks in a concentrated area for breakthrough. That's a revolutionary strategy. You know, why didn't anyone else come up and think of that? Germany, you should have used this one when going to war with France, I'm just saying. Ladies and gentlemen, after losing almost 50 stability, trying to keep under uh, total mobilization, it is time we finally do the great struggle. Increasing army spending. Well, now our army is spent and, uh... And the final struggle. Oh, okay, 30 days. I keep forgetting about that, like, every single time I play guys are Are you ready, kids, for a suicidal death charge into the beaches of France? Well, I am. Man, saving Private Ryan is gonna be really weird in this. You... Oh, there wasn't, like, a, a notification. Oh! Oh! <clears throat> now, finally, turn the audio up. Let's, uh, let's just intervene in this. Hey, there they go! Alright! Now, everyone else get in action. Uh, Yada, I get this tank out, of course. Throw it into Gaul's division. And, uh, well, yep, here we go. What? <sighs> One second. So again, apologize for, uh, the crashes. I'm gonna try to do it all again. I know, fun. No, not fun. Let's just say that a few German volunteers ain't enough to destroy. I I'm like bum rushing Afghanistan right now, and, uh, well, very it sucks. I gotta redo it all, but you know, at least now it's a lot more uh, integrated. Well, n no, 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 you can't do that. That no, you no. <sighs> That's better. <laughs> I I hate myself for what I've done. Well, there we go, Charles. We go again with the uh, 
Lightning Warfare. Thank you, thank you. Brilliant strategy, and they actually gave me a good medium tank design, which I think is going to be very useful. Yo, oh, my troll divisions. Well, you see, we like to do a little trolling with the AI, and yes, that does mean invading Middle Eastern Arab countries with our wonderful troll divisions. By the end of this, I'm going to have the best freaking Marines ever. <sighs> I guess I gotta defeat him again. <laughs> Sorry, man, you just can't compete against the French exiles. They really can't compete against the French exiles. Alright, I know, I know, I just want to show off my cool naval vision. We'll get right to the point where we, you know, declare war on friend France proper. <sighs> Finally, we're back. Only took a few hours. <laughs> Only took a few hours, and well, uh, things that are different, mostly notable, uh, Sam Cobb, wonderful. Uh, we got that German little puppet state. I know, I know. Uh, Walt Disney. That's a new. Uh, Africa hasn't fallen apart. And, well, I own Afghanistan. Don't, uh, don't, don't question it. Uh, oh, Japan? Hirohito is alive. Don't worry, but they are, uh, not very wholesome. Oh, look, the Europeans are killing themselves again. In a way, I'm thankful for Iran beating up the Ottomans, so because... The last war time I fought this in the previous attempt before they updated, it was like a border gore cleanup. And well, this is some very nice front lines. And thank you, Iran. And yeah, I suppose I should go to thank them personally in their capital with a gun. God damn it, Turkish Nicholas Cage. <sighs> okay, okay. Uh, now we're finally at the point which we used to be at. Except for Iran, but don't forget about it. Dealers and Thunder. Huh. I love the Napoleon Total War opening theme references. That's awesome. Ah, uh, you know, <laughs> are you on par with factories at least? You know what? Eh, I'll take it. I could probably beat him with the Germans' help. <laughs> my my expeditionary forces have contributed at least 70 war score. What what does that mean? I can take New Jersey. You know what? You guys can keep that. Oh, right, done. I completed the new. Where is take? What? What? What are you doing down here? <laughs> what? What? What the hell is that? New okay, hold on, hold on. What is that? Is that? Is that Antarctica? Is that German Antarctica? What? What are you doing here? Atlantic Atlantic City is now my personal fiefdom. Also, don't mind uh, Wales. <laughs> I, I, Welsh London finally kicking out the Anglo-Saxons. I see. Actually, I say Anglo-Saxons, but they are a German puppet. G gosh dang it, Britain, I was gonna try to do that first. I was gonna, I was gonna do it in, in 89 days. I'm, I'm this close, guy. Ladies and gentlemen, well, it is finally time for Napoleon to reclaim his birthright and retake the Continental Empire because certainly this, this exiled one kind of outshines the, the Continental one, in my opinion. But, oh well, retake the Continental Empire. I have 5% recruitable manpower. That's gonna be very lovely. And, oh, the invasion, uh, wasn't ready yet. Oh, hey, would you look at that? Ah, ladies and gentlemen, this is our chance. Please, land, force attack, anything, for the love of God. Oh, and yes, looks like that naval bombardment, I think, might win out the day. I'm actually landing. That's a, that's a pleasant surprise. Let's quickly take this tank and wreak havoc on the railroads. That's probably a good idea. We'll go right up here all the way to Leon Encirclement. I know, it's bro, it's bold. That's about it, it's bold. Ah, but I, come on, you gotta put your faith in Napoleon. He's a level four general and social democrat. I know, a bit ironic, bro. With a port secured, and by secured, I mean rapidly used uh, <clears throat> last stand until it was built. Now our entire army is over and I'm pretty sure we can steamroll the country. I mean, like, all their divisions are here, and Britain. This is a pretty easy Operation Dragoon. Pretty much like real life. Yeah, you got it easy this time, Napoleon. Hey, guys, cool off the wine. You didn't realize your entire rear guard disappeared. Avita Zane! I, I suppose. I I don't know. That's, it. That's all I know. All I do is, all I know for certain is I like looking at the little helmets disappear when the divisions get annihilated. Ah, what? Wonderful. Now that's ours. Uh, yeah, you got a bit of a tumor there, man. Um, just a tiny bit. Guys, just just stop attacking. It's not working. You're in the weirdest sandwich of my life, and you think that a counterattack would be success? Hey, look, Britain's even landing. Guys, you have bigger issues than that. 
Want to see me encircle the French army? The syndicalists? Want to see me do it again? Okay, well, technically I haven't connected the German line, but you get the idea, they're dead. See, I, I, I did it again. Woo! Oh, I, I was able to do it all without taking Paris. That's actually, uh, that's actually quite funny. German troops, what? What? No! Why must England be such a pain sometimes? Gosh, no one likes you guys. No one. Okay, maybe I like you slightly. But that's only because so I could get New Jersey. And that New Jersey ain't even that good. And thank you. And well, look at that. We're much greater than Canada. Because, you know, everyone hates Canada. There we go. And now we'll happily take all the reclaimed land that is rightfully ours. And then some. Ah. This is the, I know, the greatest peace deal in all of peace deals ever. I mean, look at Canada. Look at England. That's... Wales just doubled in size. Ireland and Iceland and let's just say I'm very proud of my overseas empire. Very proud. Italy, that's not a thing to be proud of that because I annex the rest of Italy. Uh, I hope that we have some wonderful puppet states, I'm telling you. And of course, uh, I divided Chile and the Chile and the only possible way possible, Germany. Canada, France, I know. Beautiful, beautiful. We split it up and made it even worse looking. And of course, they said that exiles would never return home. We are like a force of nature. One would even say a wheeler and dealer. And France? Okay, now this is the wrong Napo This is no. Who, who is this? Oh my god, finally. Return to Paris. The reconquest of France proper. Her splendor awaits. And oh, would you look at that? Do, do I keep chorus on this? I do. Do I get cores on all of this? I do. And I have 362 factories, which surely makes me the number one world power in the world. I've played this for multiple days, and holy crap, we have a huge focus tree. I wasn't expecting this. Or this. Oh, this is going to be a lot longer to record, isn't it? All right, well, in time to invade Iran, and... Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Oh, did... I think I did that. So, um... Sorry, I thought that was fair enough. You didn't. Eh. Ah, crap. Well, I'm going to maybe, I don't know, send guns while I fight Iran. This is like the eighth time it's cracked. Okay, well, that ending wasn't very satisfying. So, obviously, I have to create my own. Now, of course, uh, when it comes to any alt history scenario, you have to start with the basics. Uh, a really weird map of Europe. Now, this is just going to be very, um... It's a very in development. All right, we're gonna make a bunch of teasers for it. However, so you know there'll be there'll be plenty in that department. And then let me just go around. So of course, when you when you again when you start developing a mod, the first thing you do is you look at um, Europe, and then you don't pay attention to you know the rest of the world uh, because no one cares about that. I mean, like America, I mean, like South America, you can just kind of forget about it. nothing ever cool or genocide -y happened there to forget Portugal. Uh, I mean, for uh, Paraguay and the, uh, do, 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 do. okay. So when it comes to this, obviously we have the very, very large, uh, empire right here, uh, right here. All right. This Napoleon, of course. And of course, right there, the capital. Oh, lovely, lovely. And then, um, so, I have this, right? And I also have up here. And then I also have down here. So, that's already a really good start. And, of course, we have Germany, and we have Kaiser Wilhelm. But, you see, he doesn't have uh, Rasputin Schlong. I have Rasputin Schlong. So, I just show him Rasputin Schlong. I go to Berlin in a diplomatic trip. And he, he, just, he just capitulates. Like, bro, it's 13 inches. Like, that's amazing. So, you just conquer all of this. Then, we got all the puppet states. All the satellite states. And, of course, everyone who's just in that faction in a whole. All right, and then Spain. Uh, well, imagine I invade that, of course, then go into a horrible guerrilla warfare that's very similar to uh, Vietnam. I'll just show Vietnam as a little uh, warning here as to never invade because it'll just be like Vietnam. What's a Vietnam? I don't know. I think it's like uh, something to do with... The Germans? Of course, once we do that, you just have Savin Cobb over here. Now you have you have Savin Cobb and his ugly mug, and he's just like and he's, he's always grumpy. He has like the sideburns, right? Uh Black Rider of Death, so he has his he has a little horse 
two. I mean, it's, it's, it's very... Again, when we're developing a Hoi Formati, you gotta think about the basics. Where is Zabinkov? Where is Napoleon? Um, Europe, I'm assume I'll be kind enough to give that back to uh, the market liberal... Um, market liberal Edward over there. Pretty cool. Yeah, Edward, that's like a Tino reference or something. This is just gonna be Monarcho Bolshevik Norway. I won't bother with that. Oh, yes, I, um, I do have Constantinople, of course. And I'll just occupy the Balkans. Commit, like serious amount of crimes against humanity or something and they seem to like that and then romania bulgaria okay and then savinkov uh, will have this epic boss battle where he'll totally lose and i'll make it into a puppet state uh and of course the person i'll put on the throne is uh rasputin's schlong all right it's like 13 inches so it looks, like, uh, looks like it's actually green -ish. so we make a nice green color and then of course count that time okay so when, when it comes to a map of Europe, obviously you have this, and then of course we have the Crown um, Vacation Home in New Jersey, Atlantic City, where obviously every self-righteous new man of the uh, the Empire goes here. All right, and then this will set up for our new New Order spinoff, um, Rasputin's Penis, and it'll just be the most wonderful mod you've ever played. Of course, only be Europe, won't be Africa, Asia. I don't really care about. Australia. <laughs> Anyways, that I think is a very satisfying ending. I'm sure all you guys will agree. Call it um, Napoleon Reich, right? Napoleon Reich. Uh huh. The Blue Order. There we go. Now that, and of course, this will be 1.00000001, so don't ever expect it to be finished, and we'll have like eight teasers a month, and only make teasers, uh, Deb Diaries, that kind of thing, and then it'll be a really cool mechanic, where, like, you get to choose what Napoleon eats for breakfast, all right, this is like bacon and eggs, soda, um, all right, yeah, that's cool, so, thank you so much for watching, um, I'm sorry that the video ended on, I mean, this is a pretty complete note, but, yeah, I'm sorry it ended on an incomplete note, and uh, I hope that you all have a wonderful... I'm sorry this video took so long to get out. I'm very busy, very busy, so don't expect too many uh, more than the usual amount of videos on the weekends. So thank you so much, though, anyways, and I'm, I have to I have to say thank you to my patrons. Of course, you gotta think about that. A special warm thank you to Aaron Moon Unit, Defkill, Moonwalking Roosevelt, Pronifin, Bismarck Lover, CSP67, Bubblegum Ice Cream, 9, and a special thank you to Steven. Thank you all to being wonderful Patreons to my community, and I wish you all a wonderful evening.